Hanging is a type of physical workout in which the body is suspended from an elevated bar using both hands, but instead of constantly lifting and dropping the body weight, as in the case of the push-up, the body is made to stay stationary for as long as possible. To hang, literally. As a regular everyday exercise, hanging is often overlooked in preference to other workouts such as the push-up, sit-up, and pull-up. Even as children, we had all experienced the activity of hanging off bars just for fun, but as we grew older, our priorities changed and we stopped hanging, when in fact it's something we need to do now more than ever. And because of this, the benefits of hanging are less than common knowledge. In this video, we will talk about what will happen to your body if you hang for 5 minutes every day. Let's get started. 1. Improves Grip Strength Due to the unique position of the body while hanging, the weight of the body is supported first by the grip provided by the palms of the hand. A good grip isn't necessary just for holding your phone. A good grip strength is essential for performance, cutting across many other workouts such as pull-ups, rows, deadlifts, rack, and all dumbbell exercises. Also, some studies have shown that weak grip strength may be a risk factor for decreased mobility later in life, so you might really need to begin now to perform the hangs as it is important for the development of grip strength and endurance. 2. Posture Correction the constant stretch on the shoulders, back, arms and lats provided while hanging goes a long way to correct upper body posture defects, especially that which develops from sitting slouched over a desk or computer all day, known as the Quasimodo Hunchback. So, before spending money on any elaborate posture correcting procedure, try hanging for 5 minutes every day. 3. Spinal Decompression Hanging every day will decompress, loosen and stretch out the spine. If you sit often to study or work or need to stretch out a sore back, then hanging is the most beneficial and cost-effective line of action for you. Most of the activities and movements involved in our modern-day lifestyles compress our spine. Extended periods of sitting while studying and working, carrying heavy objects, squatting, and even sleeping are all responsible for spinal compression. Hanging for a few minutes every day will go a long way to replace the space that has been lost between the bones, joints, and discs in your spine and will, in turn, relieve back pain and tension. 4. Shoulder Strengthening and Injury Repair if you have a shoulder injury, performing the hanging exercise will strengthen your injured shoulder muscles and help your shoulder remodel itself. There have been several cases of people recovering from shoulder injuries, aches, and pains by simply performing the hanging exercise, injuries that otherwise would have required extensive surgery. So, before spending thousands on physiotherapy and other healing measures and corrective treatment, give a few minutes of your time daily to perform the hanging workout. Five. Forearm Strengthening Most of the upper body workouts are usually focused on the development of the biceps, triceps, and chest muscles, while the forearms are, very often, neglected. Hanging is an excellent way to build both size and strength through your forearms, while enjoying the other benefits it comes with. The peculiarity of the hanging workout sees the entire body weight borne by the wrist, the palms, and the forearms, all of which acquire tremendous strength and endurance. And with regular practice, improvement in forearm strength will be noticeable. The bottom line is, all these benefits and more are a product of simply hanging on a raised horizontal bar for a few seconds at a time, a couple of times a day, an activity most people will consider mundane. It is almost surprising that hanging is not as celebrated as a vital workout as it should be. Truly, hanging is a severely underrated body exercise. So will you add hanging into your workout program? Let us know in the comments below.